Um, hi, uh, my name's Jason. I'm from the band Los Campesinos. Um, having a great time at the uh, festivals and thank you very much for having us. Um, well, I started at 18 um, and I got my first view um, in Brighton with a guy called Nigel and then I slowly, uh, worked, he, he wasn't too much into colour so I ended up getting tattooed by a guy randomly the shop like uh, introduced me to him and he was really into like bright colorful you know really bright vibrant colors and uh, his name's James Woodford um, and he now works at Into You uh, Tattoo in Brighton and when I first met him he was like you know the nicest guy um, really friendly and you kind of know when you find a tattooist that you really want to stick with and get the majority of your work done you stick with them so I kind of uh, you know, give him some vague ideas of something that I want and kind of let him, you know, design away. I have like an idea like, um, you know, I wanted a sort of like a seat to the sky with swallows on my left arm. And I think like tattoos work best when you give them the, you know, the chance to design it themselves because that's what they're into. So, um, and he's just done a great job. Um, I'll give him a place on my body that I want to do. Um, and I've got to say, doing my ribs was the worst thing. You know, you slowly progress to the worst and worst places. I don't know if it's the older you get, the worse they get, or you start to get the worst places done. Um, but I, yeah, my ribs were not pleasant. I, 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 did, <laughs> I did two sessions in a row on my left rib, um, which I've got a phoenix there. And um, in hindsight, not the best idea because it was uh, 12 till three on the Monday, wrap it up, go in the day after and continue on the piece. And so it was swollen and bruised and you're going tattooing straight onto swollen ribs, which isn't pleasant. Um, but I can't remember too much of that now. Every new tattoo you get, like, it becomes your favourite. So I'll get one and then I'll be like, wow, I've got my new favourite tattoo. Um, I mean, I love, I've got um, a gypsy girl on my right rib, um, which is one of my favourites that I've got. Um, and my neck as well, which was done by a guy called Cecil Porter, is, I, I'm just, I can't explain how happy I am with it. He did such a good job. Um, and I struggled to get an appointment because he's so busy. Um, it was complete fluke that I managed to get one. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of favorites, but my neck, my ribs, um, I love them all though, you know, I'm really happy with them. It's like one of the most frustrating things having tattoos that you can't see, you know, it's like, it's amazing when like, I walk past a mirror or something and then I take a glimpse in the mirror and I'm like, oh, that's, that's really cool, that's amazing, I forgot how cool it was. Um, so uh, yeah, it is frustrating when you can't see them, but you know, that's, that's what you do, you get them because you enjoy them. So I'm surprised you haven't been uh, tempted to get any more. Uh, my advice is don't get your hands tattooed um, unless you know, you've really thought about it and unless you've had a load of tattoos like don't go like there are kids nowadays and it frustrates me a bit seeing kids with just their hands and I'm like oh you, you know you can't you know it's very hard for work if you have got them done um, I think you should get a couple of sleeves at least a bit of work on the body even before you think about your hands or your neck um, I'm really lucky in the work I do to you know it doesn't affect uh, my work um, and I kind of saw it as if it did it's probably I wouldn't want to do that job anyway, you know, so I'm, I'm kind of that way. If I get my hands and my neck done, I'm never going to have a job I don't like. I think that's a really nice way to do things, you know, like if you've got a skill or like a craft or something, you know, if, if someone else has got something, if you trade things, it's a great way to work, you know. I like what you do, you like what I do. Let's just trade, you know, who cares about the money, let's just get it done, so. Me personally, this is a great trade for me. I mean, if I could trade anything for tattoos, I would, for, uh, without a doubt. But, um, I mean, generally, as a band as a whole, I would say, uh, oh, that's a very good question. That is very tricky. Um, I mean, I think we're really lucky to have, like, pretty much, you know, what we kind of want, you know. We're really lucky to have, I'd say, for our fans, but our fans are so amazing, like, you know, I'd want something more for them than for us necessarily. So uh, if we could do a free gig for our fans 
as a trade, you know, that would be great for me and great for the band. So, 